Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's still March. We've had quite a week. I don't really know what day it is anymore actually at all. So it's Wednesday and we'll stick with that and I know it's still March. Um, we have to talk about this energy and the surges and all of the things because um, it has been it has been more intense than I've ever felt it and so intense that it's it's being felt by people that have not previously been feeling it and and that is something so we need to talk about that this morning and I would love to hear from you guys about your dreams what kind of dreams have you been having because um I think that uh generally speaking uh the dreams have been crazier than ever before as well so whew, it's a lot it is a lot. Facebook is driving me crazy today. Okay. So first let's talk about the power surge that we all felt on Monday. A lot of us felt on Monday. For me, it was around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it was like all of a sudden, because I was fine, I was actually outside walking. And um, it was just like this crazy wave of energy hit me. I had a horrible headache and I was nauseous for the rest of the night. And um, that's not usual for me, but when I posted on Instagram with you guys, a lot of people were having that same kind of sensation. And around that time is when the shooting happened in Colorado. So I want to link these for you because I do feel very strongly that they are connected. Not that specific event, but events like that. We are all energy, humans are energy, and the earth is radiating energy, and we're all experiencing upgrades right now. So it's both the earth and us. So you know that saying, as above, so below? This, that, is, that is what's happening. So when we had a huge surge like we did on Monday, it was like, I was using this example, it's like we all received a jam-packed zip file okay? And the earth received it as well. And then we all have to, in our own ways, unpack that file. And it takes a few days. But when you first get that file, first of all, if you're not expecting it, all systems will likely go haywire and you'll feel kind of crazy. If you're not expecting it, if the vibration of that upgrade is very disrupting to your normal vibration, it's going to send you into a spin. And so we're going to see a lot more violent behavior because that's often the way the spin goes. When somebody who is vibrating in a general way at a very low vibration, you know, they're, they're just not in a good place in their life. They're suffering from, you know, from a lot of anxiety, from anger, from different mental disorders, whatever it is. But if they're vibrating at this frequency, when they receive that big download, it short circuits everything and it can make some very violent things happen. And what happened Monday um, was not the first of those. Um, and we are not even hearing, honestly, about all the other ones that are happening. If we actually could see how much violence happens during these spikes in, in a real way, I think it would blow our minds because we only hear what's reported. And what's reported is very very small threads of what's actually happening. So please keep that in mind because it's not like, oh, this happened and there was one event. We have a whole wide world out there and things are happening on a daily basis. We're very affected by this energy. So general rule of thumb when you receive this zip file is you need some time to integrate it, right? And your awareness of having received it in the first place is going to really help you to integrate it because you know what's going on even though it feels crazy, right? So you need a few days. Usually, I mean, for everyone it's different, but I usually say like three-ish days to integrate anything so you, to start to understand what the deal is, okay? So we're on day two of that now. Yesterday was day one and yesterday was a freaking doozy. Um, I was offline all afternoon. I was angry and I didn't even know why I was angry. I just knew I was not fit for consumption and I was angry as fuck. And it, that's not me. I'm not, a, I'm not a very like angry kind of, that's not my thing. Anger, anger is not my jam. 
but I was very, very angry. And so when I started feeling that, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what's happening? So this is the week though. And we talked about this during the Equinox channel that it was ramping up, right? It's ramping up. Well, it's been ramping up. It continues ramping up. But as we move to this weekend, to the, the 26th, 27th, 28th, all things are aligning for something explosive. And if this week, it's only Wednesdays, any indication of that, I think we really do need to prepare ourselves for that possibility for something really like ah to happen. So what does that mean? How, how do we prepare ourselves for whatever the hell is going on around here? Well, take heart in the fact that you've actually been doing this. You've been preparing yourself. You've been acknowledging that there is more going on than meets the eye. You've been acknowledging that it's time to pull your energy in and start listening to your own self. You've been doing this and that that's kind of the biggest work, right? Is realizing that you have to start trusting yourself and also realizing that you're okay and you're safe and you're supported and tapping in to that safety and support that you're feeling and reconnecting with your family in the spiritual realms, in the energetic realms and understanding your place in, in the scheme of things and knowing finally that you are not separate, that you are part of, and this is a massive evolution of the planet and its inhabitants. So will you soften? and allow yourself to be transformed? Will you allow yourself to become the primordial goo and be you know, resurrected into whatever new form is coming for us as humans on this planet? Or will you fight it and say, no, that's too scary and I want things back the way they were and so I'm going to cling to that. That is also a choice and a lot of people are gonna make that one. So. When I said it's choice time on Sunday, that's all I mean. What do you want to do? What adventure are you on? Um, I know if you're listening to me, it's, it's pretty clear what adventure you're on, right? Because otherwise listening to me would probably not feel very good. But this is your adventure. This is your experience. And there are some things that you can do to help you to feel less crazy during the unpacking of these upgrades because there are more coming, ah! So something that helped me on Monday that I'll share with you is making sure my electrolyte balance was good because I can handle some things. I can handle like the vibrating, I can handle the ringing of the ears and all of those things, but something I cannot handle is nausea and a headache at the same time. That is just not gonna work for me. So the electrolyte balancing helped me to feel more in my body and for my stomach to settle. And um, you know, while you know Gatorade is technically electrolyte balancing, I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest coconut water, pure coconut water, or you can make a drink yourself that I do for myself and my kids, which is just water. Or you can do sparkling water if that feels good for your nausea at the time, but just keep in mind that sparkling water can be a bit dehydrating. But water, lime, fresh lime juice, salt, Himalayan sea salt or sea salt, whatever kind of salt you like, um, and maple syrup. And just mix it together. And it's a little funny of a taste, but it'll give you a good balance of electrolytes and kind of balance that in your system. Magnesium is also a good idea during this time if your system lets you have it. Now, just keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, so this is not medical advice, but just some things that have been working for me that I'm sharing with you. You may have noticed this week that your tastes have shifted the flavor profiles of things have shifted. That you have, you're craving things that you weren't craving before, or things that used to taste good, as in like three days ago tasted good, suddenly don't have the same flavor. This is also part of your system update. Because if you think about it, when you get a, if you think about a computer, if all systems are upgrading, even some parts of the system that are not necessarily receiving the upgrade are gonna have to go offline. And that's kind of what's happening as well. Um, with our system. So be patient with yourself. You might be itchy, you might have joint pain, um, 
any old injuries might kind of flare up and have some pain and swelling. Um, you know, anything like that might happen. It's gonna be really good for you to have a grounding stone to hold onto. And we're using this a little bit differently now, right? Because we're understanding that the grounding stone, stone, that these dark stones absorb energy, okay? Because black absorbs light. So when you have a grounding stone and your energy is all crazy, you're holding this grounding stone and you're kind of just putting your energy into it. It will collect your excess, your shedding, and it will help you. It'll help draw this out, okay? Same thing with a salt bath. It will help kind of draw things out and I won't say speed up the process, but just soften it just a little, right? Now, we do have to feel this. So there's no getting out of ascension symptoms. You have to feel them because they're part of the process of you understanding that this is really happening. Does that make sense? Like we need a physical reminder that this is an actual real thing. If it was all fluffy, you know, fluffy clouds and kitten kisses, we would just be like, oh, what's the big deal? But when your body's like, you have to pay attention, right? So it's part of that. But yes, there are things to make it a little less crazy so you can do things in your day, but at the same time, you do need to feel your feels. Now, we talked about relationships um, last time, I think, but just like, mm, don't burn your house down this week because I feel like that's really um, possible with this Venus and Aries and everything else that's going on. <laughs> so just like be mindful of that and you know, maybe journal and take notes of things, but maybe not this week. Don't use this week to burn your house down. I'm just saying, um, because you might need a little more reflection that's not available to you during this week. This is not a good week for that. So yeah, that's what hap That's what's happening. So the dreams, let me scroll up here and see if what you guys said about that. Um, did you say something about that? I don't know. I don't know guys, but anyway, the dreams, the dreams have been crazy, but they've also been on purpose. So again, what have you been dreaming about? When you wake up in the morning, what are you retaining? What are you processing, right? Big stuff. So keeping in mind that you are unpacking your zip file, your dreams in the three days after receiving a big upgrade are really telling as to what that upgrade was for you. For me, from what I can tell, it has a lot to do with relationships, it has a lot to do with my feelings of self-worth and what I want in my life. What are your dreams about, right? What, what's the theme? You might be able to gain some clues. And a reminder, you can always ask to remember your dreams. You can always ask for your dreams to give you clear, Images, visions, and all that kind of thing. Um, Rosa is saying, I had a really weird one the other day. It included birds, rats, mice, and I think a snake. So look up the symbolism of all of those things because our angels and guides use things that are already in a catalog of meaning, okay? So especially birds because we have so many books that say all the symbolism of like every single different bird. So it's like when they're trying to send a message to us, they look through the catalog of all the things humans have said mean different things. And they're like, okay, send her a blue bird. She needs some cheer. It's that kind of thing, okay? So pay attention, take note of those things. Um, let the messages come through, don't push it. Cause that's the other thing. If you're just like constantly searching, 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 it's, you know, that's gonna be, that's gonna be um, unproductive for you. So I hope that's helpful. We are, Rolling into full moon in Libra. Oh, it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> you bet your butt it is. Um, I have opened up two, two, I opened up four readings, I think, and we might have two left. So if you would like to have a one-on-one -on, -one on the full moon, I think there's one left on that day. Um, but I also have a, a special thing for you guys who are listening live. I know half of you are on Instagram, but I am doing a flash sale on the three-day activation and on reactivation, which is the four-week. So if you have ever been interested in any of those activations where it's basically you get a little PDF, you click a link, and it's me talking to you for about nine minutes, and then you have meditations afterwards, this will help you 
to acclimate to these energies, especially the three day one. I would highly recommend the three day one. It is, I forget what I put it down. I think it's $22. It was 88 originally. So you don't need a code. Just go to my site. Um, it's Sarah Mala slash shop, or there's a link in my Instagram profile. And there's a link here in Facebook that you can go to and just go to meditations activations and click on that and it'll take you right there. And the three day um, energetic protection activation thing is what you're looking for. It says flash sale on it and it is $22. So if you need something to help you to boost you through this and a reading is not in your current scope at this time, that's your ticket because we all need something to move, help us move through these energies and to just kind of ground us into what's happening. Okay, so that's that will be there for you for the rest of the week. I'm keeping it through the end of the month, actually. Let's just keep it through the end of the month. So if you've been interested in trying, now's the time. Super duper flash sale. So there's that. Um, just kind of, you know, I don't know. I'm going to be more present with you during this. I feel generally speaking, moving forward, um, possibly popping on with lives throughout the day as things happen. I feel like that's really what's calling to me to be here for you during this and that kind of, um, and that kind of support way. So that's what I'm thinking. And so tomorrow we're doing doing channeling with the purple crescent. So if you have um, if you have questions about all of this stuff, I think it, I think it'd be a great time to ask them for the purple crescent. I know I have a lot of I have a lot of questions. Would you like a card, Claudia? I'll pull one. I have it right here. Um, so if you have questions for the Purple Crescent, please go ahead and email them to me or send me a message because um, that is the best way. I won't remember if you just tell me here <laughs> or if you post somewhere, I won't say, I, I just can't see everything. So yes, and just quick shout out. I don't know if she's listening now or if we're listening later, but happy birthday to Johanna, Aries baby. All right, I'm gonna pull a fairy, a fairy card for you guys. And because um, Claudia wants me to, happy to do it. Ooh, I have some interesting fairy stuff to share with you at some point too. All right, let's see here. There it is. If it's Ragnarok, I'm just like not gonna show it to you guys. I'm just gonna move on. You can know that's what it was. It's not. Okay. Okay, so she's back again. It's the weaver. It's the weaver. It's the word lady. We like her. She's gonna give us a good reminder. It's number 25. We've been getting this one a lot, remember? All right. <laughs> oh my God. You have inherited as, well, hold on. Let me just remind you what word is. It's W-Y-R-D. Word is an ancient magical philosophy and also the root of the modern word weird. And it is both personal and global. And perhaps even beyond that, it is galactic. Every single thing in the world, seen and unseen, is connected and can have influence one on the other in an infinite series of variations and patterns. Your choices and actions, your thoughts and words are important. They have impact, they have meaning, and they are part of the creation of the world our children will inherit. Okay, so that's what word is. Now I'm going to read the Weaver card. You have inherited aspects of your family's honor and word. The actions of your ancestors have had a ripple effect on your life, and you have worked through some of this impact with strength and nobility. There may be more work to do yet. You have free will, and you also have a destiny, and the two dance together and form a pattern that is unique to you. And this is your contribution to the web of word. Every action has an impact. Every choice will create results that are impossible to see now. So consider the choices before you and choose what is for the highest good of all, what is most honorable and beyond the personal. Ask no person to give up their personal honor to further your own ambitions. Consider the impact of your choices into the future and consider the ancestors and what they would feel about your choices. You shall now choose well, for you are weaving the world that was, weaving the present moment, and weaving the world that shall be. What happens to one of us in our country, town, family happens to us all. Every act vibrates throughout this universe and on this great energetic web. And we are in every moment with every word and thought and deed contributing to this great grid of energy. Whew. Okay, then. I always enjoy a fairy pep talk and this is one of my favorites. So I hope that it filled you up. 
I will try to remember to post it. I definitely get a little bit batty after lives and do a lot of things and forget, but I'll do my best to post the word. And don't forget, flash sale on activations. The three day and reactivation. I think the three day is only $22 and I've popped down reactivation, which is the four week activation to 88. So no coupon needed. It's on my website under meditations and activations or whatever, or use the link in my profile and just scroll down and you'll see meditations and activations. And you could just go there and get that for you. That will help you in this week. And if you need a one-on-one, -on -one, pop into my stories and see what's available. I love you guys. Have an amazing, amazing Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow night for channeling with Purple Crescent. If you have enjoyed this transmission, please share, tell your friends, like, follow, all those things. Mwah! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow.